I just need to sneeze so hard I peed myself. <laughs> Love that for me. So when I was in inning, Englo inning, whatever, I was told you that in the intro, so. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Long time no sit down video. So I'm really excited about this video. So today I'm gonna to be doing a first impressions slash review slash reacting to your guys' song recommendations video. There's a whole lot in one video, but I hope you'll find it entertaining. So I chose to do a first impressions of this makeup brand called MUA. You guys have probably heard of it, hopefully. If you have it's just like a really cheap and inexpensive cruelty free makeup brand if you aren't subscribed i would love to have you in my family so please do click the subscribe button and also the notification button so you won't miss a single upload i just don't want to ramble anymore so let's hop right on into the video guys my skin is looking red and irritated because i have been popping pimples all day and it's just because we've got this really good like well lit mirror where you can see everything up close and super clear and that is a recipe for disaster when i'm in the house i will just walk by that mirror and be like oh and then i'll start and that results in this and it's really not a look so let's try get this covered up with some makeup but remember you are beautiful the way you are and Got my matcha latte here. I'm ready for this. I'm glad I finally put up the courage to do this. You know, it's just such a hard life I live. I showed you how to make this in my workout routine video. I can link it down below. So the first thing I'm gonna try out is this thing, which I thought looked so interesting. So I just had to pick it up when I was in the shops. This is the product that made me want to do a full face MUA. Don't know if you have this brand in America, but if not, then you can probably order it online somewhere. So this is the Pro slash Base Smooth Set and Prime Blur Stick. They have different kinds of blur sticks or priming sticks, if that's what you want to call them. I think it is a priming stick, yeah. I just chose the one which tickled my fancy the most, you know? <laughs> Never say that again. But it really reminds me of milk makeup and I've been wanting to try milk makeup for ages. And it looks like this. It's got like smooth like top thing. And I'm just guessing you go straight on like that. Wow, it feels really nice and smooth. You don't have to blend it when it's on, I feel like, because it feels like it's already blended. Primer is key for my textured skin. It's been so textured recently, which I've been hating, but primer's come to save it. I really like the feel of it. I feel like it's super quick and easy, which is what I like to go for in makeup. I feel like it has blurred, which is crazy. Before I'm gonna start this tutorial, I need to put lip balm on. This is my favorite one. Birthday Balm from Glossier. It just smells so good. I have these products linked down below if I can find them. That's primer done. Also, because I didn't want this video to be boring, I'm gonna react to songs that you guys sent me on Instagram. I asked you for song recommendations for like literally a year ago, I feel like, but no, it wasn't a year ago. It was in October, so that's months ago. So I'm gonna listen to some. Chet Faker Gold. I'm gonna start talking about my next product, which is foundation. Now, what I saw on the, when I was in Superdrug, I only found one foundation. Maybe it was just one foundation in this formula, which I like, like the bottle. I don't want to have a stick foundation or anything like that. This is a matte perfection, which I don't like the sound of that, because I feel like that's gonna make me go crusty and dry. Even though I don't have dry skin, it will get dry if I put foundation in the wrong spots but to help out with that i figured i'd be a beauty guru genius and use a beauty blender but where did i put my wet beauty blender that's a question only god knows forget the haters because somebody loves you where's my beauty blender 911 what's your emergency honestly did i leave it downstairs no i put it in there <laughs> a soft and smooth foundation blah 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 blah. no one cares i got it in ivory flush so <laughs> it also says shine control on it so if you're a shiny bitch then you can use this but who wouldn't want to be a shiny bitch so maybe don't use it you know do whatever you want this video isn't sponsored or they didn't send me any of their products i just put them with my own money let's see the color looks too dark for me i bought this one i had self tan on so that's a problem. We're just gonna have to ignore that. It's probably like five shades too dark for my pale ass face. That blends in with the wall. <laughs> Got it on my beauty blender. Let's pound the alarm. Okay, maybe the color's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna start blending it in. Oh, you hear that sound? Okay. It's quite full coverage, which is 
nice when my skin's looking the way it is. And also the colors like pretty much a perfect match. Or am I gonna be looking back at this editing it and being like, girl, no, that's not a perfect match. But what I can see now, it literally looks pretty much identical, identical? Identical to my skin tone. I think I did good, sis. It's not feeling like cakey or anything, but I did just put it on. So now you can see the difference between my bottom face, which has got foundation on, and my forehead, which got no foundation on. It doesn't look super drying, like it actually looks quite glowy and healthy, which is probably thanks to my genius self using a beauty blender with it. Okay, I'm gonna put the song on now. Wow. Gotta know, I'm feeling love. Interesting. I might as well be in our garden. Ooh, I like his voice. I like it. I mean, it's nothing that I would probably normally listen to, but I like the vibe of it and I like his voice. I don't know, it reminds me of something I'd used to listen to, like kind of indie alternative-ish. I don't know, I'm maybe right. I could be wrong. I'm actually so sorry. I had no clue what I was saying there. I wish I knew. You're somebody else, Flora Cash. This reminds me of some kind of, you know, Ben Howard, Hosier, that kind of calm stuff which I like. The eyebrow pencil I'm using is black brown eyebrow pencil from MUA. It was probably like one pound or something. I'm not gonna lie, I've tried this. I've used, I've done fake freckles with it. Oh, you look like yourself, I love this. Guys, this is the kind of music I, I get in my feels to this. I love it. It makes this kind of music like really inspires me to make films and videos and like cute cool edits and stuff oh i love it i'm adding it to my playlist you you guys have cool like there's songs that i've never heard of before which i love thank you guys Nothing I normally listen to, but it's good still. Peer pressure. Got so many friends and they all make me feel alone. They always say they love me, but I know they really don't. Okay. I just suck it up and do whatever they This poor girl feels peer pressured and I just can't relate. I feel sorry for her and don't feel that emotion, but never experienced that emotion. No, but peer pressure is actually like a bad thing and it exists. Just, yeah, just keep stating the obvious. It just shouldn't exist, like we shouldn't be pressuring. No one should feel pressured by anyone, especially not their friends, so. Don't pressure anyone into doing anything they don't want to do and don't do anything you don't want to do. Saying no is much cooler than falling for the pressure and doing something you don't want to do. Saying no is so many times more cool, but while my brows look dark like caterpillars, they haven't looked like this for centuries because I never fill them in so you guys probably aren't used to them looking like this anymore but I used to have them like this like every day so. Next thing I'm gonna use, I actually got this a while ago but it's broken. I know this video is called first impressions but it is first impressions on most things but this thing, I've had it for a while, I don't really use it so I guess it's gonna be like rediscovering it. Let's just set this uh, cake. Why do I look like Mr. Bean? Are you guys said my father was like Mr. Bean. My father? Did I just call my daddy? <coughs> Abort me. Did I just call dad father? Someone said he was like Mr. Bean and I see where you're coming from sis. I love Mr. Bean though so it's it's cool. I love having my own Mr. Bean in my family. Oh shit. Uh, do you know what I forgot? You guys are probably like yes yes we know what you forgot. I've been screaming at the screen for the last three seconds. More than three seconds. I forgot concealer um, but this is the full coverage concealer. Let's see if it is and I have it have it in the color 130. Okay it looks pretty yellow. I feel like it is quite full coverage so I'm gonna have to go in with some more powder now. Okay here's some French music. I find French rap really cool actually and like German rap as well so a hundred degrees. Les yeux plissés comme si je quittais la peine. Tu me l'as même pas encore dit que j'ai déjà oublié ton prénom. Je suis triste. I actually really like this even though I have no idea whatsoever what he's saying. I didn't take France French. Oh my god, I just said France. So I like the design on it, like oh 
Okay, this is, now I can see this is quite a very much orange shade. I put it on there, it looks orange. So we're gonna see how we're gonna work with this matte bronzing powder from MUA in Solar number 100. I like it! The Eye of the Truth. I think I've heard that. I have. I usually have this in my videos. I like it. It's groovy. Like, it's not looking that orange. I could get away with it. Oh, I've seen these before. I used to listen to these when I was in my indie, like, Tumblr phase. They're good. They're good, this band. I like them. I forgot I even used to listen to them, but I just recognised the cover picture. Okay, I have my MUA highlights at Dad's, and I love the MUA highlights. They're so good. I love golden lights. Oh, too bad I didn't bring them here. I do have this eyeshadow palette from MUA, and it's got these really nice poppy colours in them, so I think I'm going to do something greeny, bluey, or purple. And it's got this shade here, which I'm going to use as a highlight. I'm just going to try and add a little bit. Okay, it works as a highlight, guys. You could mistake the glitter for just a really good glow. So these are the colours I have. I've never tried this palette out before. I might as well just go in with a silver shade under my brow, just a highlight. And then I'm going to go in with this purple shade here. And I'm just going to apply that to my lid. I'm going to use my finger because I feel like that's the easiest way to apply it. I think this palette was probably like £4. And the pigmentation, I mean, it's buildable and it's quite good. Like, it's not the best, obviously, but... And then we've got this slightly darker purple, which I'm going to use on the outer corner. Uh, I'm going to have to use a brush for that. I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. I don't feel like I can mix in blue, but I'm going to mix in green just because... I'm a rebel and I want to. I'm going to apply this blue in the crease. No, the green in the crease. And also the outer corner. This looks absolutely shit, but I'm never going to be able to do a good eyeshadow look with only shimmery colours because there was only shimmery colours in that palette. So this palette is like good palette, but there's literally one matte shade in this palette and that's that peach shade, which is quite ugly to be fair. If I just stopped with the purple, that would be fine, but I wouldn't have a shade to be able to deepen it up with. Or maybe the black, but that's shimmery as well. It's just ain't looking, I'm just not looking my best right now. <laughs> I've had better days. I'm gonna go in with the purple again and just brighten it up on my eyelid. And just kind of cover the brat, the green that I put in here. And I'm just gonna go over the green. There's nothing wrong with the pigments, it's just the, it's hard to make a look. Or maybe I'm just not James Charles enough. So what colour shall I do under my eyelids? I think I'm gonna do light green next to the silver shade up there. It ain't really showing up. I'm just going to drag this brush under my eyelid and hope for the best. I look bruised and messy. We're just going to move on from the eyes. Realise, realise, realise. Mascara time. I'm going to be using a eyelash colour, which isn't from MUA, so close your eyes. I should have stopped at the purple look, but I wanted to do something extra. You can't always be extra. What 2018 fought me, taught me, not fought me. Okay, this mascara is I Define Lengthening Mascara. It was just the one that was least left of, left of, so I grabbed it and I was just thinking, must be the most popular one. And I'm praying to God this isn't a thick brush. If it's a thick brush, then oh, it's, oh, it's a it's a thick brush, but it's that kind of brush where it's not like brush on it. It's like a plastic brush, you know, which I like and it's bendy. So the applicator is looking good. <laughs> I actually love this mascara and it has been really lengthening my eyelashes which is what it's meant to obviously. Most mascaras look good at first glance like when you put them on first. The real test is will it crumble under the day? My one from both Too Faced and Urban Decay that I recently tried both crumble under my eyelids, under my eyelashes, whatever. They both crumble down and make it a little bit black and my Glossier one doesn't do that so I have high expectations I don't want it to crumble like 
Is that too much to ask? Why do these eyelashes look so much better than these ones? So next up is lips and that's my final step. I love MUA's lip products. I have several lip liners from them which I use all the time. I also have their lipstick in Fawn Fancy which I really like. Everyone normally asks me where it's from and what shade it is when I wear that but I'm not going to be trying those out today. I've got a new one actually and this is the Velvet Lip Lacquer um, which is I guess like a matte lipstick. Looks like that. It's actually looking a bit quite light and nude for me but I'm going to put it on. I don't know, this song is just a bit too like sappy for me. I don't really like listening to this type of music, but I mean, it's not awful. Like, I could listen to it. Like, I wouldn't block my ears or anything, you know? <laughs> I'm a modest girl like that, jokes. I was gonna say, do not know why I chose out a orange lip color. It didn't look, it didn't look orange when I swatched it on my hand, okay? Don't know, this orange shade is just not doing me justice don't like it at all. Especially not with this makeup look. I'm probably gonna title this like the ugliest makeup look I've ever done. That's it. Thumbnail done. Okay, summan of kedamumam, which is a Swedish saying, which means the sum of the kedamum. Foundation, four out of five, just because I don't know how it will last like in the day, like when I'm wearing it. Really, really love the shade of it. It matched perfectly. I love the feel of it. I'm not feeling cakey or dry whatsoever. Keep in mind, I have only had it on for a little bit. Powder, also really like. The powder doesn't make me feel cakey or anything. Gara, I absolutely love. Okay, guys, as you can tell, I'm just talking about my favourite products from this video so far. The concealer, I like, but my rednesses are still, like, shining through, but they do that with all concealers, so it's like, okay, I can still consider it as covering concealer so i love all of those products or i like all of those products and um, the primer really really enjoyed so much fun to use the eyeshadow quality is good but it's just not the palette just wasn't it you know mascara absolutely love i think i've said that be careful cardi b i just want to react to that one what was that i've got something on my it's red the fuck love it i like it song and I'm actually feeling cute, guys. Malamente by Rosalia. It's very popular here in Spain, okay? Ooh. I like it. Ooh. I wish I knew Spanish now. I'm gonna keep on reacting. Lemon Boy. Love her voice. And the song was cool. Oh. I like it. It's cool. So my memory card ran out of memory, but that is gonna be have to be what? That is gonna have to be that for that's gonna be <laughs> That is going to have to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little mix up of first impressions slash review slash reacting to your guys' song recommendations. If you want more of any of these types of videos, let me know and request what makeup brands you'd like to see in that case. Here are the shout outs for today's video. I love you all so, so much. Thank you for supporting me. Even now when I've had a lack of videos on my channel, I love you all so much. You guys mean the world to me. Don't forget to follow my socials if you haven't already. They're on the screen right now. I will see you in my next video, hopefully. Also, if you want to check out my merch, please, please do that. It's linked below. I love seeing pictures of you guys wearing my merch. It's just so surreal and really cool. Bye, I love you all. It's me a little Venice bitch. It's Mark.